Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my teaching and my efforts please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates In the last video I have discussed what is a counter what is the purpose of the counter if you want to design a n bit counter how many flip flops are required for a n bit counter how many states are there and how many types of counter such as synchronous counter and asynchronous counter what is the difference between them all these things i have discussed in detail i hope you have watched that video if you have not watched that video i request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video for better understanding in this video i want to discuss about shift counter shift counters are the part of the synchronous counter what is the shift counter and how many types of shift counters are there such as ring counter and johnson counter all these things i will discuss in detail okay so first let me discuss what is a synchronous counter already you know that in a synchronous counter let's take that you want to design a 3 bit counter okay then how many flip flops are required you need 3 flip flops are required am i right or wrong now when it comes to the synchronous counter a common clock will be used for all the flip flops am i right or wrong now as you know that let's say that i'm using a d flip flop here now it will be d0 and you will have q0 as the output and you will have the q0 complement okay similarly you will have d1 this is another flip flop you will have q1 and its complement you have a d2 which is a flip flop and you have the output q2 and q2 complement am i right now if you see that what is a shift counter is that the output of this one is acting as a input to the d1 similarly the output of this one is acting as an input are you able to understand now you can ask me what is the input for this one now we will say this one is a shift counter now shift counters are broadly classified into two types one is ring counter and another one is johnson counter okay now if q2 okay q2 output means flip flop d2 output which is q2 if i am giving it to the d0 then i will call it as a ring counter are you able to understand now if you see that we have three flip flops such as d flip flops we have d0 d1 and d2 is it clear now what i was saying is that this one d0 q0 output is the output am i right for this d flip flop we will have a output as q0 and its complement so this output if i am giving to d1 and this one i am giving to this one then it is a shift am i right now the shift counters are broadly classified into ring counter and johnson counter if it is a ring counter q2 is given as an input to the d0 such shift counters we will call it as a ring counters okay now you can ask me sir what is a johnson counter don't worry i will discuss with you we have the okay we have the q2 complement what is q2 complement whatever it gives it gives the complement am i right now if i give this as a input to the d0 okay means the last flip flop complement output i am giving to the first flip flop as an input then i will call it as a johnson counter i hope you have understood what is a shift counter and how it is classified into ring counters and johnson counters and what is a ring counter what is a johnson counter in the coming videos we will discuss few examples related to ring counters and then we will discuss about the johnson counters then i will discuss about the asynchronous counters asynchronous counters even call it as a ripple counters also so all these things we will discuss in detail thank you for watching my video have a nice day